So I'm in my Qigong sitting posture, sitting in my car driving. So hands on the steering wheel, shoulders nice and relaxed, pulled back and sitting up straight with my chin tucked back towards the throat and the head resting against the back of the headrest, looking straight ahead. So this is my imaginary driving posture. Now, if you find that you're in the situation where you are stopped for whatever reason, so whether you're stuck at traffic lights or in a traffic jam, or you're waiting in a car park, waiting to collect somebody, um, wherever you are stationary, these next movements will be really interesting ones for you to practice in order to help relieve any tension that you might be feeling in the back, the shoulders, the neck area, or even down through and into the legs. Do not perform these exercises when you are actually moving in the car. Please don't do that. If you're a passenger in the car, that's fine. Um, but if you're driving, please do not perform these exercises. Wait until you're stationary and you'll see why as we go through them, okay? So we're going to start with the head and the neck, okay? So very simply, you have your head back against the, the headrest here. You're stationary, you're waiting in some traffic lights or whatever. So just begin for a moment, maybe just uh, close your eyes and breathing in and out through the nose for three abdominal breaths. So because you're stationary, you don't need to have the hands on the steering wheel. You can have them just relaxed on your legs, either palms facing down or palms facing up. And starting with the head and the neck now, take a breath in and drop the chin down towards the chest, feeling a lovely stretch down the back of the neck as you exhale. And then breathe in back to the center and breathe out, drop the head down. Breathing in and out through the nose, breathe in back to the center and breathe out one more time. Breathe into the center. Now, keeping the chin parallel with the floor, turn to look to one side, just as far as your head and neck will easily allow you to rotate. Breathing in, come back to the center and breathe out, going across to the other side. Ideally, making this movement soft and smooth, very fluid. Breathing into the center and twice more to each side. And feeling the stretch down the neck, the side of the neck on the opposite side to where you're turning. Really easing out any tension in the sides of the neck, all the way down into the top of that opposite arm. Breathing out to look to the side, breathing into the center. And now tilt the ear just on toward, towards the shoulder on one side as you breathe out, just allowing the head to drop down under its own weight. So no forcing and again, feeling a stretch down the opposite side. Breathe into the center and tilt to the other side. So as you tilt, your head is still in contact with the back of your headrest. So you're not allowing the head to come forward like this. Come back to the center and twice more to each side. So everything stays upright. You're just moving through that sideways plane of movement. and back to the center. And now working with the shoulders, pick the shoulders up and breathe out as they come forwards and down. So rolling the shoulders, keeping the arms very relaxed, forward circles. So breathing in as the shoulders come up and back and then breathing out as they come forwards and down. Twice more, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, Breathe out, now change direction, come forwards, breathing in and then back, really retracting, pulling the arm, the head to the arm bones back, breathing out and down. 
Breathing in and out through the nose. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. One more time, breathe in, breathe out. Now again, checking that your head is upright in contact with your headrest. And then bringing the arms together in front of your face. Now, if you're in a car where the steering wheel is very close to you, you might need to kind of go up a little bit more with the arms, just move them away from your steering wheel. So palms are facing, touching each other and moving the palms of the hands away from the face and up very slightly. So they're just above forehead level. Take a breath in. And as you breathe out through the nose, bring the elbows to meet each other and feel that lovely stretch along the tops of the shoulders. Breathe in and release. Breathe out. Elbows come together. Breathe in. Breathe out. So the palms stay together all the time. Breathe in. Two more. Breathe out. Feel that broadening across the space between the shoulder blades and the back of the body. And then allowing the arms just to drop down by your sides, give the shoulders a little shake out, moving around a little bit in the shoulders, whatever you need to do, coming back to your sitting position. So head, neck and shoulders obviously is an area that becomes very tense when we, or can become very tense when we're driving. But also people, because you're at right angles here between the torso and the, the thighs, you can often have a lot of chi stagnation here in the hip area, lower back area as well. So just to help relieve a little bit of that, all I'd like you to do now is just move around from one side to the other. So move from one sit bone to the other and even maybe try and do little hip circles your body's still in contact with the chair. So maybe circling in one direction, really just going with the flow, letting the shoulders and the back move as well. Again, trying to stay upright as much as you can and then change the direction, go the other way. So just moving from one sit bone to the other. And what I get here when I do this is I get a lovely kind of sensation of release in the waist area in the kind of hip area around here and then going down into the lower back and the sacral area. So if you have any issues with lower back or hips, just go very easily with this, feel very gently into it. Don't do yourself any damage, obviously. That's not the aim. Um, so just be very kind of easy with this and listen to your body as you do it. But keep it nice and fluid and smooth. Breathing normally into your belly, in and out through the nose. And then just relaxing. Okay. And then following on down now into the legs. Again, just with your, maybe with your hands resting down, palms down onto the thighs, just picking up one leg and dropping it. Picking up one leg and dropping it. And just alternating with the legs. And when you do this, feeling into where the leg, where the top of the femur is inserting into the pelvis, into the hips. So feeling into the joint, maybe close your eyes for a moment and just feeling into this. Breathing out as you lift the leg, breathing in as the leg comes back down. The mind is in the hip joint. And just going at whatever pace is comfortable, for you to match your breathing with the lifting and the lowering of the legs. Keeping the chin tucked back towards the throat. Your head is upright, not allowing the body to fall forwards as you do this. That's often the temptation as we are lifting our very heavy thigh bones. So this is really strengthening for your core as well. You need to engage the core 
in order to be able to lift the legs in this way. And then coming back to rest. And then one ankle at a time, we're going to do some ankle circles just to relieve any tension that you might feel there. And that's often a very common issue, especially for people who don't drive very often or someone who's maybe just a newly qualified driver who's not used to driving. The, the pressure of our feet on the pedals and just that, that action of the, the kind of lever of the feet you know, moving forwards and backwards can cause a lot of tension in the ankle joints. So just lifting the foot and placing the ball of the foot on the floor and then just very gently circling in one direction, using your abdominal breath, just breathing freely with this. You don't need to combine the circling with the breath, but nice and slowly. So feeling into the whole range of the ankle joint, making that circle as large as you can but still keeping the ball of the foot in contact with the floor. And then change the direction, keeping your body upright as you do it. So you're still in your driving position. And then to the other side. And you'll probably find it much easier to circle on one side and in one direction than the other a bit like the uh, left-handed, right-handed thing. And then change the direction of the circles. And relax the feet. And then the last thing you can do in terms of movement is this is for if you're feeling really tired when you're driving and you need to pull over and you need to have a rest because you're in danger of falling asleep at the wheel. And I think we've probably all experienced that at some time in our lives. And it's so important to make sure that you're not too tired when you're driving for safety reasons, obviously. So for this uh, little exercise, all we're going to do is going to work with the fingertips and we're just going to do some tapping around the head, around the forehead, closing the eyes. Gently, gently tapping around the forehead, on the top of the skull, around the sides to the temples, very gently, not too hard on the temples now, around behind the ears, back of the head, back of the neck. And you may want to come in the back of the neck area, you may want to just give the back of the neck a little bit of a rub with the thumbs, just whatever feels really good to you quite vigorously to create a little bit of heat in the scalp area that will bring or help bring more chi and blood into the area to nourish the area we're trying to kind of wake everything up so even maybe a few circles come back to some tapping maybe around the front of the face which are very gently around the whole of the orbit of the eyes you can also rub up and down the nose with the fingers Tapping on the cheekbones, around to the jaw, along the jawline, onto the chin, and then just underneath the nose. There's a couple of lovely acupuncture points, one here, just on the chin in the center line, and one just above the top lip here, again on the center line. Really nice enlivening points if you just want to use the index finger for that. And then bringing the hands together, giving them a rub until they get really, really hot. And placing the palms over your eyes, fingers facing up towards the sky or the ceiling. And giving yourself a little face wash. Again, to enliven the whole of the face. Stopping you feeling so tired. We really just helping to wake you up, put a little pep in your step so that once you've had a break from your driving, you can get back on the road again. <laughs> 